everybody, my name is Guy and I'm a welder. I'm also an educator at my local college. Now I'm here today to talk to you about the gas metal arc welding process and why people fail that test. Now, before we get into the causes and how to overcome some of those challenges, let's have a look at our machine and let's have a look at amperage and voltage. We know we need those two in order to have welding. I like to use the analogy of a garden hose. The electrons flowing through that conductor can be described as water flowing through that garden hose. Now the pressure pushing that water through the garden hose can be described as your voltage. Okay, now let's take that one step further and let's look at the relationship between amperage and wire feed speed. So a direct increase in wire feed speed with the gas metal arc welding process will increase the amperage. And for those three reasons, it is crucial that these three parameters come together for the gas metal arc welding process. Let's have a look at some of the equipment, PPE and tools that we're going to be using today. So from the top, I've got my welding helmet, I've got my gloves and I've got all the proper PPE including my beanie and my safety glasses. I've got some locking clamps for putting my, my plate together. I've got a flapper disc and that's going to remove any mill scale, any rust or any, any sort of debris that's left on that plate. I've got my wire brush after I chip my slag. I've got my chipping hammer. I've got a tape measure for measuring my stops and restarts. And I've got a soapstone. We're welding with a constant voltage power source with an ER70S-6 filler metal. We have a 92% argon and 8% CO2 shielding gas. Aside from a welder getting nervous, some of the more common reasons why people fail a make test is they increase their voltage too high, they decrease their wire feed speed, they have an improper angle, or they travel too slow, causing themselves to weld inside their puddle. Now, why would a welder want to increase voltage? Well, let's just say your weld isn't desirable. Maybe it's crowned up looking, and we want to flatten it out a bit. Well, by increasing your voltage, we'll actually flatten out that bead. But the downside to that is that you may lose penetration, perhaps causing lack of fusion in your plate. Now, if a welder is traveling too slow while welding, could cause them to weld inside their puddle causing some lack of fusion or improper penetration. Because this puddle freezes quickly, it's a concern with make weld. Now another reason why people fail to make tests is because of improper angle. Now it's more critical with make welding because of that irregular shape of the penetration profile on argon. So it's very critical to maintain a proper angle while welding gone through the reasons why people have failed to make tests. We did a demonstration. Now it's important to conclude here to understand that MIG welding may not be as easy as we think. It may be safe to say that it's easy to get started. So pay attention to those voltage settings. Don't go far too far outside of that setting. Watch your travel speed, watch your angle, and watch your wire feeds. I want to thank everybody for watching. I hope you got something out of this video. And as always, keep those lenses clean.